This video was filmed in the Doncicasto Channel in southern Tasmania by wildlife officers in 2016. They discovered up to 20 protected Australian fur seals trapped in a salmon pen, allegedly left without food for days. It sparked an animal welfare investigation into salmon giant Tassal. He's buggered. At the time, Tassal had a permit to trap seals, but was required to remove them from the water within six hours. The department later changed the rules to allow Tassal to keep up to 20 seals in empty salmon pens for a week. These documents show the government granted Tassal a permit to pen, to pen seals at exactly the same time Tassal was under criminal investigation for doing just that. They also show the department discussed with Tassal how it would respond to media inquiries. Tassal and the government colluded around media messaging uh, to handle public perceptions of animal cruelty accusations. It's like he's exhausted. One wildlife officer told colleagues he believed Tassal was in breach of the rules. Tassal says it fully cooperated with the investigation and has since invested in world-leading pens that have significantly decreased interactions with seals. The department provided a brief to the Director of Public Prosecutions, but no charges were laid. A department spokesman says the special permit issued to Tassau was based on expert advice and was done separately to the investigation. The Greens say there's an impossible conflict between the Department of Primary Industries' responsibility for animal welfare and promoting the aquaculture industry. At every stage we see the government chooses time and again to put industry productivity first before animal welfare and the environment. I'm advised that the department processes were appropriate. Uh, secondly, uh, the, the rules and regulations in and around seals are there to protect uh, fish farm workers in particular and of course the welfare of the seals and you've got to get that balance right. A balancing act under increasing scrutiny. Alexandra Humphreys, ABC News.